Hey everyone, welcome back to Dead Rising. We're going to do the kidnapped case. It's a great idea. Oh Aw, yeah. Wicked. Oh, that's the post for Uranus Zone. And we'll drink this beer. I did this the other time when I was recording. So what happened was I started recording, and then I realized, hey, the audio is a little loud. And lo and behold, I had the volume set to maximum. So it was a little loud, so I restarted the recording. Isn't that a great story? I feel like anyone who heard the story has had their lives enriched by me saying this. Oh, it's empty. Weird. I was expecting there to be a lot of zombies here. Checkpoint reached. That's going to be important. Um, oh, grab the shotgun. We have 48 minutes, so we can do s stuff in the meantime. I don't know if I can even open the door. Okay, it's locked. So we can't go in there right now. Uh, I think we're pretty well armed. We're going to try and grab one more weapon, though. In the meantime, I don't know what I will grab for a weapon. There's not a lot of great choices here. Oh, excuse me. Sorry, I'll try not to yawn too much because I don't like it when I'm yawning during these kinds of videos because I think the quality of it suffers. It's like when people burp when recording. I understand sometimes it happens, but I also don't think you should make a habit of it. You know, if I'm playing a game and I'm just always burping, I think that's rude. And some people think differently, but I remember one time I was watching a uh, Let's Player, and he would burp constantly, and he would have his beverages and he'd like slurp them. And maybe I'm guilty of doing this myself. Who knows? If I if I slurp my beverages like when I drink water like this, oh, it wasn't even on. If I slurp that and you think that's disgusting and rude, leave a comment down in the comment section below. But he slurp his drink and he would eat on camera. Which for a Let's Player, I'm I don't think that's acceptable. And <laughs> let, let me rephrase that. Because when I say, oh, that's unacceptable, that makes me sound like an authority on Let's Playing that I don't really think that I am. I should say, it wouldn't be my stylistic choice to do that. What am I even doing? We're supposed to grab an item to use. So let's throw this. Don't even want that. Uh, we can bring a chair with us. Or a tiki torch. That'll be fun. I know we're killing time. That's right. Uh, yeah, we got 10 minutes. Or 20 minutes, rather. So, for a Let's Player, I think if you're going to do a Let's Play, especially if you do smaller episodes, you should be able to go 15 minutes without eating a lot of water. Or, well, or just like making a mess, you know, eating like a full course meal, or say, eating, well, not eating, or even drinking, or burping, or excessive yawning. I understand if you're recording and then you let loose a little yawn, that's okay, that happens. What is this? A ninja mask? I don't think we want the ninja mask. Yeah, I'm kind of here. Let's return that. Where was I going with this? Whereas for streamers, if you're streaming on Twitch, dude, I get that. You you run the show for a little bit longer, so you're gonna need a little bit more food to keep you going. That's okay. Because you're on the camera for eight hours a day, maybe, depending on how you're doing. So if you have something that you're eating while you're streaming, and depending on what you're doing, uh, my biggest concern about eating and drinking on camera, drinking is more acceptable, I find, because I'm always going, so sometimes I want to the whistle using this good water right here. Uh, and maybe I'm just saying that <laughs> so I can defend myself from accusations on the internet. However, if you're eating, I don't want to hear you eating. 
I'm fine if someone like eats something and I just don't hear them eat. They just like, you know, this and I can't hear them. That's fine. I don't. I'm not too concerned about that. But when I hear it, it's like. Ugh. She couldn't just take our tape and leave it at that. Never look a gift horse in the mouth. You're letting her go. Right now. Hmm, I'm getting tired of hearing you talk, Frank. I always saw you more as the strong, silent type. The very, very silent type. Oh boy. Uh, this game is very sexual. You haven't noticed already. Alright, so we're gonna beat up Hammer. Okay, we're out. See you, nerd! Alright, this, this torch isn't cutting it for me. We're gonna put it down. Every use the six shooter. I gotta be careful. Alright, this. Here, let's aim. Wow, aiming works very well. I should be doing this more often. Alright. Oh no! I'm gonna die, actually. Alright, come back here, Amber. I'm out! Sorry, I'm having too much fun with this quick step here. Oh, so you might be wondering why am I focusing on one twin? Well, in the principles of RTS strategy gaming. Focusing down one twin is a good strategy anyways, because there's less shenanigans going on. I'll articulate out of this cutscene. We got a story to cover. <laughs> you just gonna lay here all day? It's about time. You'd almost think you liked me being tied up. They were your source. Seriously. I know. I'm sorry. 
But they had the tape. It spoke for itself. Maybe this will make it up to you. I heard them talking earlier. TK's got another chopper coming in. He's getting out of the city. Now. We need to catch him. Chopper? I can't let that bastard get away. Not without an interview. That helicopter is landing on the roof of the hotel. I'll be there. Neat! Seven PM? Oh, that's right now, isn't it? And there's club music going on. Oh yeah. Check to see. Yes, we will save. I picked a very good time to be silent. The game's gonna save? Not talk about anything. Interesting. Alright, so um here let's just actually set the we'll go to the brand new you use the shortcut do snake in the grass talk to him and that'll be all she wrote still the six shooter and the shotgun, so this helicopter should be easy pickings. I'm not sure. So, focusing down... So, we have two bosses. Like the one that we just had. If you focus down one of them... Say... Let me put it in a different way. So pay, suppose that you can do 100% damage. And each boss has 100% health. So, overall, you do 200% damage. If you can do 100% damage... It makes the most sense... To focus it all on one boss because you can kill them and once you kill them they can't do anything else whereas say for that boss fight suppose that instead of just focusing down the one that I started just fighting both of them what would have happened is say I got them both down to say 5% HP and then I killed the one then I would have ended up doing 195% damage for the payoff of just killing one of them, if that makes any sense. But I think you guys understand what I'm talking about. I don't think it's a very complicated subject. But that's why in RTS games you want to try and kill. Here we can ruin. Uh, uh, how do you get to the map? Here we go. You move the waypoint. Oh, or is this food? Yes, yes, it is. Eat the hot dog too. In RTS games, especially things like Warcraft 3, that's why you want to get your units fighting for as long as possible, yet have them not die, because a, a unit does full damage no matter what health it's at. So, in the context of Dead Rising, because that's what we're actually playing right now, those bosses will always do the same amount of damage regardless of how much health they have. There's not a, say, fatigue mechanic or something where... The bosses get weaker and do less damage the less health they have. I can't actually think of any game that has a system like that. It would be an interesting system, but I think it would be frustrating. And that's why I think there's a disconnect between video games and reality for a number of reasons. But in this game, I get beaten by a chainsaw in Dead Rising. And Frank's completely okay. Nothing bad has happened to him. Whereas in reality, if I get attacked by a chainsaw, I'm not coming all of that in one piece. Definitely will get messed up a little bit. And that's why I... Is this you? Oh, hi, Frank. Damn straight. Oh dear. Uh, uh, yikes, this game's full of innuendos. Uh, <laughs> uh, I don't think that's gonna happen. 
you will do this quest that wait is this in yeah that's what i thought okay so we need to pick up magazine if we could think to do that but i'm not entirely confident that i'll remember uh and then that said that's gonna end the episode so thank you very much for watching and i'll see you guys next time